Okay, uh, I have set up here a short um, melody, short big room house melody, and here I have set up my kicks, but they're not side chained and not compressed, so you'll hear how they're very quiet and the melody overpower the melody and bassline overpower the kick, so you can't really hear it. And I'll show you what that sounds like right now. Shit. Alright, so you can see you can't really hear the kick at all. So what I'm going to do to fix that and make it more professional and dynamic is I'm going to compress all this shit to it. So first I'm going to do the bass line. So what I'm going to do is drop a compressor on the oops, drop a compressor onto the bass line and wait. I actually forgot to stop. You have to. You're gonna hear my voice. Oh, never mind. So, go to your kick, wherever track the kick is on. Then you have to send the audio to a bus. I'm gonna send it to bus five. When you come to bus five, and you put this dial up to zero, and now you're ready to add your compressor. Come back to your baseline. This is my baseline. And add your compressor. Next, you're going to side chain it to bus 5. Pull the ratio up. F 4 or 5 is pretty standard for a kick, uh, for the ratio when you're side chaining to a kick. I like a short release on my kicks. So, I'll show you what that sounds like right now. And that's how much it's compressing that you uh that uh whatever you call it that was just bouncing right here. And without it, it sounds like this. So you can see there's no ducking and there's no, uh, the kick isn't making any room, or the bass line's not making any room for the kick. So when you would turn this compressor on and with the settings I have here, it uh, ducks out the bass line. So the bass line isn't, you don't actually hear the bass line every time a kick hits. It's tough to hear it uh, with a bass line like that. but it is working I can hear it myself so now that the bass line is ducking away we can add the top of the melody which isn't and th that part of the melody is not ducking at all so I'm gonna add a compressor to the melody again I'm gonna side chain it to bus 5 you're not supposed to stack too many side chains to the same bus but for this video, I'm going to. Uh. Okay, that sounds good. So you can see it's ducking away every time the kick hits. So what I want to do is I want to do that for every layer of the melody here. Uh, this will be a this part of the video will probably take a little long, so I'm going to try to do it quickly so you can just follow along if you'd like. And yes, I am adding a second compressor onto all these because I do have my melodies side chain to the bass line so that is why I'm adding two compressors onto all of them because I have a couple of different uh, 
side chains going on for sound. So you can see how it's already sounding like the kick is so much louder and um, sounds so much better, more dynamic and professional. Uh, sounds a lot more like a popular song you would hear that uses compression, which all popular songs use compression. If it's a famous song, they 100% use compre side chain compression to the kick in the bass line. Alright, so that sounds really good. Um, let me see if I've So that sound uh, that sounded pretty good. Obviously, if it was a if I was making a full length song, and this was going to be part of a song, I would um, I would have a more drums and more life moving in that melody. It doesn't sound that lively, but the point of this video was to show you how to side chain to a kick and make your song duck. So that's exactly what I did here. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, watch my other videos. Uh, thank you.